LTA, what's going on? How y'all feeling? You know how we do. We back for another one. Today, I kind of want to go in, man, on, 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 on these cats, on these dudes, these so-called men. I'm seeing so much domestic violence. I'm talking about too much domestic violence. Now, we, we already talked, we always talk about how the girls is fighting girls more and, you know, stuff of that nature. We, we, are, we be talking about that. But we got to talk about you men that's out here running loose, putting your hands on women. We got to talk about that. You cats is out of control, man. Y'all, you out of hand. Now, don't get me wrong. Have I ever had a domestic in my life before? Yes. But you have to learn at a certain age. I say as soon as you have one, you better start learning right away. You shouldn't have one at all. But if you do, you know, should do, you know, when y'all are sad at that, that that super deep relationship as you think it is and your puppy loved and all that goofy stuff. It ain't an age limit either. That's the sad part. That's what I mean. If you're not if if you're not um learning out the gate as soon as you having that with that should, which that should be around like the you know twenty ones, the nineteen sixteens, the twenty twos, you know, that should be down that age. Like once you get 26 and up and all, you know, especially 30. 30 plus, you, you better not be having no fucking domestics. And like I say, you shouldn't be having none at all. But once again, we understand. When you're young and you really think it's love and blah, 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 I dig it. And, and that should be to a minimum. Like, it, it, once you get to that serious shit, when you put a, an actual mitts on a motherfucker, you got to move around, man. You got to think. I, if, I, if it got to be that, we don't need to be together. You feel what I'm saying? Oh. Behind closed doors, a father commands his 13-year-old son to pick up a camera and start recording. Look at me, bitch. You play those stupid games with me, I'll knock your teeth out of your face. The father delivers a verbal flogging to the mother in front of their children. You act like a in front of the kids. It will go on for nearly an hour. You little slut. If I see a dog chewing your ass up, I won't stop. I won't stop. It is domestic abuse. The kind we hear about, but often don't believe. I don't want to see your stupid ass cook itself. Stupid ass helper. Susan is 42 years old. They have three children. The father, owner directs his 13-year-old son, the cameraman, to get a close-up of their emotionally battered mother. Zoom in. Do you see a tear? What do you see when you look at her? A woman desperate. Desperately trying to save whatever she can salvage of her family, desperately trying to please her husband and do whatever it is that he wants her to do. According to a Department of Justice survey, one in four American women experience domestic violence. You know more of what's going on at work than in your own house. At the time of the tape, she was working, he was not. He was jealous of men on the outside. And this got to do with somebody at work. It does Heffa. not. I don't have anyone. Half a line ass. I can't tell you how many baseball coaches I was accused of, swimming teachers, um, karate teacher, other parents, anything. Video this line ass Heffa. But her greatest agony was the role of her children. When you think your son was on the other side of that lens. Not only that, my younger son was right there also. He was in the room. Their youngest son, eight years old. Sit your stupid ass. June 22, 2003, terrifying images of physical abuse. The kind the experts say takes place every 15 seconds someplace in this country. The difference is, this is caught on video. You don't know what to do. Look at your stupid ass. Look at the way you look. Behind the camera, a 13-year-old boy watching his mother slapped, slugged, and throttled by his father. You keep playing the game with me, I'm gonna knock your head off that wall. At one point, for nearly three minutes, the son seems unable to record what the father is doing. He keeps the lens facing away toward his own feet. You follow what I say to the teeth. The terrified mother, Susan, covers her face while the father, Ulner, strangles her, throws her to the floor. You have a stupid ass nerve about your stupid ass self. And you don't learn after I beat your ass all the time. You do not learn. With the help of police over the next few hours, she ran a heart pounding race against the clock. Since her husband patrolled every minute of her day, she had to get to the children before he did 
and before he made an irrational move, Officer Kathy Onions. We decided to have Susan call the residence and speak to her husband to reassure him that uh, she picked up the son as she was instructed to. We wanted to document what his response was to this conversation and, uh, you know, and have it on a tape. Hello, honey. Where are you? I'm afraid to come home. I'm afraid to come home. You stupid ass heifer. What do you mean you're afraid to come home? You better bring my son home. If you don't bring my son home, I'm going to kill you, heifer. I don't want you to hurt me. What the are you? afraid to come home. In the end, Ulner is found guilty on all counts. The judge, who will never forget that searing tape, hands down a sentence of 36 years. The videotape is... It's terrible. And as you can see, it's still... It's still gets to me. I, I, think for, I remember Ben and Joe, old cat told me one time, he said... He said, if you ain't born with a pussy, you don't own a pussy. You feel what I'm saying? If you don't, if you wasn't born with one, you don't own one. And, and, and you know, okay, and of course there's females out there that's, that's um, abusing men too, but we're not talking about them. We got going on your men today. You niggas out here whooping on chicks like it's, like it's nothing. You niggas, man, how y'all think, how can you even, that's crazy. Like I said, especially 30 plus, you got no wiggle room for, for excuses. 30 plus, you can forget it, man. You putting your hands on a woman, you you a sucker, man, for real. Like, that shit don't make no sense. What, what's, move around, leave. You got every, you got every bit of opportunity to leave. Even if she's, um, you know how that goes. Sometimes y'all could get into it and she barricades the, 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 the exit type stuff. Keep it real with yourself. We know we see that coming. Honey, we see that coming way before it happens. Even when we get into it, like even when you let it go that far, you seen that coming. Come on, you seen that coming. So you could have avoided that. No, you like to fight. You know, so no matter you know, like some dudes like the messes. That's all I know. She loved me. Same thing. Women, well, a woman will say, but we on your niggas today. You know what I'm talking about? You cats gotta just think, man. Like, it's no way in the world. I be, and you know, when you watch, and then if you ever see them shows like the um, uh, Fatal Attraction and all that type of goofy shit, right? You can't get that outrage where you're willing to take a life for the woman, too. And any time it happens, majority of the time, of course, there's some cats out there that murdered, got away with it. But majority of the time, you done killed this dude, and now she's out still doing what she do, still busting it open, still having her fun. And now you in jail for life or 25 or whatever. You're going to be in jail and she's still going to be out here. You know what I'm talking about? While you're trying to call collect, she going to be busting it open. She's going to be doing what she do. You know what I'm talking about? Like, come on, we got to stop that. That's just ridiculous. You cats out here, you know, acting like you, like you could own, like you own something or you got the right to, you know what I'm saying? Like take somebody's life or whatever. They don't want to be with you. You know what I'm saying? Women running around and smoke with 18 black guys in a, in a, in a five-year relationship. Like, what is you doing, man? I used to live around the corner from a store, and his wife stayed with a black guy. Stayed with a black guy. Every man, every other week you go in that motherfucker, she got a black eye. How could you even want to look at that all the time? Like, are you serious? Like, how would you even want to even... Like having like having domestics, man. Like 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 when I went through one before or whatever. It's like I felt bad about knowing what happened today. You know what I mean? That day or whatever. Like like no, nah, we can't be doing that. Hell no, nah, man. Just imagine you sitting in jail and they going around and take what you in here for. Cats being there for pistols or whatever, drugs. You dig? It gets around to you, and you in there for it. putting your hands on a woman. That you finna go try to call, collect, and fuck around, and get a no contact order. Now you in more trouble. And, and and she could be at home with another cat, or even if she ain't, if you just a sucker that's whooping on a chick for no reason, like at all. Period. She's at home now. She's at home, you know, doing like doing the right shit like she been doing, but now she all beat up and shit. Your kids got to look at it because most likely y'all got kids. You know what I mean? Or if it ain't your kids, still most likely kids there. You know what I'm talking about? Now she at home fucked up. Can't handle business really. You know what I'm saying? All that goofy shit, man. Get your goofy. Yeah, listen. If you got...
gotta put your hands on a woman, you don't want to be there, and vice versa. You, 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 a woman, you put. Well, we're not talking about the woman. We're talking about your dudes today. If you gotta put your hands on a woman, you need to get the fuck about that relationship. Let me repeat that. If you have to put your hands on a woman, get out of the relationship. Be keen, walk away. I'm talking about as soon as you see the argument start to escalate. Like debating and stuff is cool. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Once y'all get to arguing super bitches and all that stuff, you know, you, you walk away, right? Before they know it, you, all they hear is the cards. Before they even know it, you done walked off. You done, you done, you done, got, you done got the fuck about it there. You know what I'm talking about? Like, you got to be king, get away. King, get up out of there. Fuck that. Like, as soon as you see that shit starting to escalate to that level, you got to go. That's just like arguing with a female off the street. Like, you say you got a bar or whatever, whatever, store. You have, a, something happens and you have some words with a chick. You can't go back and forth to the level of like how women would do it because, you know, you're not a girl. You're a dude. You got to just go, like, you know, say your piece or whatever and you got to move around. Once you see that shit starting to get all ignorant. You know what I'm saying? All that super loud, yeah, 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 yeah. You know, all that thing. Uh uh. You can't do that with a woman. Because soon, soon as it escalates to the point where she's swinging on you or something, and then now you're forced to defend yourself, like you niggas say, she hit me, I'm hitting her back. Well, you knew it was going to get to that before it got to that. You knew it was going to get to that before it got to that. So get the fuck up out of there before it gets to that. You know when it's going to get to that level. I'm not arguing with you woman like that and now we finna have to, now you finna hit me and then I feel like I gotta hit you back? Hell, I'm finna get the fuck away from you. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm getting the fuck away from you. You know what I'm talking about? You call me king, get the fuck on by my business. I'm getting the fuck on by my business. I'm gonna tell you the truth. Ain't no way, man. I'm not sending nobody to jail to my she did this so I did this or whatever the fuck. Fuck that. Now I can't answer. Now I can't get on the phone when I want to. I'm feeling on my pocket. I ain't got no money in my pocket. I don't, you know, last time I was in jail when I was I was in workhouse, and I promise you, I just kept feeling at my pocket. You know what I'm saying? Like, just not like you know every day, all day, but damn near. Like you sitting there playing cards or something. I kept I caught myself reaching for my phone on the table. You know what I'm saying? I caught myself feeling for my pocket. Like, nah, man, this ain't cool. You know what I'm saying? Like. Fuck that, man. Like, hell no. Yeah, fuck that. So, yeah, I just wanted to talk about you cats, man. It's getting out of hand, man. It's getting out of hand. And, I mean, we're, t we're talking about your dudes. So I do want to say other shit because, you know, it do take two to tango and all that. But for you men, you are men. So you got to act like men. Control your emotions. Control your thoughts and all that good shit. You know what I'm talking about? And, um, you know, get, just keep yourself together, man. All that, like I said, man. That shit's for the birds. All them, putting your hands on chick. If you got to hit her, get the fuck away from her. Get away from her. That's all I got to say about man. You know what I'm saying? Get away from her if you got to put your hands on her. Get away from her if you got to put your hands on her. Okay. <laughs> that's, one, that's one of the corny slogans right there, but it's for real, though. If you got to put your hands on her, get away from her. LTA, we out.